hey guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing another hair video for you guys i hope y'all aren't tired of hair videos yet this video is going to be sponsored by love me hair they were kind enough to send me a wig to review for you guys before i start showing you guys the hair and everything i want to tell you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe also hit the bell notification button so you guys can be notified every time i upload you don't want to miss it in my last video i mentioned that i'm going to be doing a giveaway once i reach 300 subscribers and i'm almost at 300 subscribers i didn't think it would come that quick i don't even remember what i was at whenever i posted that video i wasn't too far away from 300 but as of right now i'm at 290 so 10 more subscribers to go and i'm gonna be posting the video about my giveaway so if you guys like the makeup or whatever i decide to include in the giveaway follow me on instagram because i'm gonna be posting about it on there as well so everyone's gonna be included my subscribers from youtube and my followers on instagram so you're gonna want to know so on to the hair today i'm gonna be showing you guys a wig from a love me hair how cute is this box whenever i got the box i was like okay wait this is cute of course it got damaged in the mail a little bit because people like it toss around your mail like it don't even matter this is so cute it's from can you guys see the name please don't shake while i'm recording i know y'all already saw him once but here's my dog again <laughs> say hey okay no all right this is the box it's so cute it says Loving hair. I'm just gonna take the bow off and I'm gonna show you guys everything that's inside the box. So when you open the box, it looks like this. I almost dropped it. This is the inside. Of course, that's the hair in the little bag. I love when the like, hair comes in like little, is this considered a duster bag? Before I show you guys what the wig looks like, I'm gonna actually just go and show you guys everything else that's in the box. Underneath the wig and you get this i thought this was so cute i don't normally like the lashes that come with um the wigs or whatever so i'm never too excited about the lashes but i got excited about this because the box is glittery how cute the lashes that come inside the box we always we always get a wig cap pamphlet i guess um yeah, hair care, how to use frequently asked questions, returns, and refunds. This is what I was the most excited about. So I was like, okay, I got a wig cap and lashes, so what's in this bag? And inside of it, you get a, a rat tail comb, bobby pins. I could use some bobby pins. They gave me an extra piece of um, elastic band, a pair of tweezers. I could always use some more tweezers for plucking. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I pluck again as well. I thought this was so cute. Okay, I didn't see this the first time I opened this box, but then I was, I think I went on this girl's YouTube video, she was reviewing their hair, and I saw her clip and I was like, oh, I wonder why I didn't get a clip. And I just went back and looked in the bag last night and I had a clip. Okay, it says love me. And I just thought that was so cute. Included. A hair wax stick now I've already used it because I was so excited when I got it I was like okay, I need to try this because I've been needing a hair wax stick because these flyaways are something serious I hate weak flyaways I you know what I don't know how to use okay wait this is one of those elastic bands you like hook like a bra so that's nice. I'm probably going to use that. I need to learn how to do elastic bands because my wig is slipping off. Now. Anyways, on to the wig, okay? This is probably what you guys want to see, the wig. This is what they sent me. Yeah, they sent me the pre-bleach, the pre-bleach knots bob wig. Human hair 13 by 6 front wig. Like I said in my last video, I only do 13 by 6. I hate, 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 hate. 13 by 4 wigs with a passion. Well, 13 by 4 frontals with a passion. It sent me 12 inches, so that's nice. I'm probably gonna cut it shorter because I kinda wanna do a shorter look. Taking the wig out of the bag, and this is it. You can see the knots are pre-bleached, which is really convenient because I did not feel like doing that. Um, the hair is super soft. It could be bleached a little bit more, 
but I'm not that picky when it comes to bleaching because I suck at bleaching anyway. As long as the hairline is bleached pretty good, that's all that matters. It does do the thing where it comes up kind of close, but it doesn't like it's as close as it normally is. But that's okay. We're going to make it work. And, oh, they actually already sewed on the things for me. So, all I have to do is take this like this i guess and just hook it is that how it goes i've never used an elastic band before because like i said i don't know how to do it you get all the little combs on the inside i'm gonna remove all of those probably except for this one down here i like to keep the one at the bottom hair is super duper soft only thing that I would say I don't like is the color. I hate the natural black color because it's literally brown. I'll probably dye it black, but not today. Since the wig is pre-bleached, I could just go ahead and just like throw it on, glue it, glue it down, and call it a day. But if you guys ever read the um, like care instructions of hair, it always says to wash it before you install it. And I would do that anyways. You never know where the hair's been or like what's on the hair because I, I'm pretty sure they do put something on the hair to give it a shine and preserve it or whatever. So I like to wash my wigs before it touches the scalp because no, I don't I don't need no reactions or anything. So I'm gonna wash it first and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you guys how I pluck it and everything. And then the last part will be me installing it. So I'm gonna go wash it. I'm gonna show you guys how I pluck now. I'm gonna bring this close and I'm gonna just so y'all can see. You need a spray bottle unless you wanna do it dry. Huh, rat tail comb, tweezers. These are the tweezers I use every time. Oh, the wig does come lightly plucked, so I don't have to do too much work. So I'm just going to take my comb and comb it back. Just spray the hair line. You don't have to spray the whole thing. The key to not over plucking is to take it and section off the very front of the hairline. Like this. And I didn't bring a hair clip. So I'm gonna use the clip that came with the wig. Just gonna clip it to that. And then spray again. They did pretty good with the knot bleaching off. Whoever bleached these knots, you did good. You did good. You did better than what I would do. Just take my twizzer, twizzers, twizzers, tweezers. You wanna hold your tweezers like this down you don't want to pluck like that you want to pluck like this don't pluck this part just yet well i i like to pluck a little bit of it but not just yet start plucking don't pluck in one place too much just move around so you see how i'm just Moving around, not staying in one place. You can even go back further. That's just going to make it look even more natural. And it'll help if you have a thicker frontal, it'll help to thin it out. So it's not as bulky. So it'll help with the frontal laying flatter. <laughs>
just pluck just a tiny bit just so it's not a straight line so just go in and get a couple of the little pieces and just pull it out don't pull too much though since it is the front of the hairline so just go in and take only a little bit out just to make it look a little bit more natural this, this is how much i plucked uh, it's not really is that a lot i don't know if that's a lot or not but this is what the left side is looking like and whenever it dries it'll look way fuller so if it looks a little thin it's not that thin this is the front and then this is the right side i wish i had some black dye here because i just want i just want this to be black because i love black hair this is the front all the way up here and the part starts all the way back there so i love that's why i love 13 by 6s because you just get so much parting space i just wish that they would start bringing the side all the way back because that kind of limits how far your side part can go over but it's okay this is the lace tint i use the biani lace paint in the color sienna i'm just going to show you guys how i do it uh i really just spray it on the top mainly because that's the part that you're gonna see and i don't even care about spraying my canvas head anymore because it's just destroyed at this point so i just take it and spray and you see how it just like instantly makes it look like skin if you don't have any lace spray i suggest you invest in some get you some because it takes your wigs to a whole nother level one in the morning and I'm just now about to install this wig I went ahead and straightened it off camera I actually cut it some more um it was like down here I think so I cut a good amount off it was 12 inches to begin with I think I'm gonna just lay the glue down and lay this on top of it and then cut it install it that way instead of cutting all the way around and then installing i'm just gonna let y'all watch me install it not gonna really talk it's kind of self-explanatory i mean you can see what i'm doing so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and install this so i can go to sleep <laughs>
It's morning time now and I slept with a bonnet on and I tied the front down. I don't know how those little baby hairs look. I'm not that good at edges, but I'm just going to fix this. I have to hurry because I have to go to work. Let me find my comb. Oh, it's right here beside me. So I'm just going to go in and like straighten the pieces. They're kind of messed up for me sleeping on it and I like I said last night I did cut it uh shorter than what it was I think it was like sitting like right here whenever I first put it on I didn't want it that long I want it shorter than this but I don't have time to cut it so maybe whenever I dye it black I'll cut it some more so just going through and straightening it and Straightening it. Why do I always say straightening and straightening and straightening? Straightening? Straightening. I need my. I lay everything down. I feel like I'm about to look super like fancy or something <laughs> you want to work with my hair like this okay everything straight I'm just kind of pushed back Okay, I think that's it. I really like it. Um, I need to work on my edges because I don't know how to do edges. Yeah, that's it, you guys. Um, hair is from Love Me Hair. I'm going to have everything linked below if you guys like this and want to purchase one of their wigs. Oh my god, I never thought I would like short hair this much. But I love it. But guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to turn on the post notifications so you can be notified when I post my next video. I guess I'm going to see you guys next time. I have to go because I'm about to be late for work. It's 12.13. I need to leave by like 12.20 because I need to get gas. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.